Hello. Hello, my name is Barry Johns, and I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of Studio Talk. Do you always do things in the sweet spot? No, it's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about your mix position. Let's get to it. All right, all right, all right. Okay, don't be having no dirty minds out there, folks. Okay, so this one should be a fairly quick video because it's a very simple subject, but often one that is not misunderstood by people. It really blows me away. You know, and I'm talking about your monitor placement, okay? And of course, when I say monitor, no, I'm not talking about your <clears throat> screen. I'm talking about your speakers. You know, those things back there, you got to listen through while you mix. Okay, so... um. So anyway, you got to figure out how you're going to place those bad boys. How do you know where to put them so that you can optimally mix, okay? So before I even get into this, I want to talk about something. Room treatment is the very first thing you should focus on before you do anything else. Get your room sounding right or use headphones. I don't recommend headphones. Some people have luck with them. I don't like using them personally, okay? But that's up to you. I'm not saying it's wrong. I just say I don't like doing it, right? Even, even great headphones, okay? I like the traditional way of mixing, okay? Get your room treated right because I don't care how much money you spend or what monitors you buy. You will never get um, the maximum performance out of those monitors if you're not in a treated room. So understand that out of the gate. Do not make that mistake. You're screwing yourself over trying to avoid things that too many of you think. It's just, I'll get to that when I get to that, when it's probably... No, it's not probably. It is the most important aspect of you being able to, to ultimately generate quality music out of the space that you're recording in. So let's get back to, okay, now I got myself a brand new set of monitors. I've recently done two reviews on a couple of entry-level monitors, uh, some Cali audio ones, as well as some Adams audio ones. Gave both of those away, okay? At the end of it, it was a random drawing. Hopefully you saw that. Hopefully you participated. And if you're one of the ones that won those monitors, con freaking congratulations, okay? Enjoy them. So the very first thing you may ask yourself is, okay, Barry, I got these brand new monitors. How do I figure out how to place them, okay? That's the obvious question, right? Okay, so first, we've got to understand what sweet spot is, okay? And sweet spot simply is, I'm mixing. So I need my ears to be in the most optimal placement to be able to accurately listen to an accurate representation of what was recorded, okay? Now, I tried to get as highfalutin in my terminology there as I could, but I think you get the, the, the food that I'm dishing out here. Just don't get too full on it, all right? So, so we got to figure out how do we do that, all right? Well, the height of your chair is going to matter. The height of the surface that you're going to mount them on. Are you mounting your monitors on dedicated monitor stands? Or are you mounting them on the back of your, your console back there like I do? Are you doing that? Okay. Now, I'm not going to get into what you should use underneath your monitors and things like that. That's a separate video. So if you've got questions about that, just hold on. I'll get to that. Okay. So right now we're talking about placement. And this is really, really, really simple. Okay. You've got, you position yourself in your optimal location of where you want to sit while you mix. Then you want to take your speakers and you want them angled. I'll try to do that. Sorry about that. You can't really see the end of my hands, can you? You want them angled in a way to where they're pointing directly at, or in this situation, directly at me. So I'm getting out of balance. I'm, I'm aiming those tweeters, those tweeters at my face, okay? The tweeter should be at ear level height-wise. So either you go down or get your monitors up, but final placement, your tweeter should be at ear level, okay? That's where your definition is coming from, okay? So now you've got that. Now, how far apart and how far away from me should they be, okay? Let's first understand what a triangle is, okay? This is not a triangle. This is not a triangle. A triangle is three equal sides. Three equal sides. So a triangle is perfect in its thing. In other words, the distance from here to here 
is the same as the distance from here to here, and the distance from here to here is the same to here to here. Now, I know I just oversimplified, and you're like, Barry, shut the heck up, man. We know this stuff. Well, I'm not going to assume everybody knows that, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there in what I call cornbread English. It's going to keep it simple, okay? So that's what you got to be thinking about, okay? Not this what people like to think of triangle shape where it's, you know, it's like that where the gap is way lower on the way further apart on the bottom than it is between the uprights going up to the point. Okay. So now that we've got that figured out, you've got to place them at equal distance. So in theory, what that basically means, if in your space, you can separate your speakers five feet, you angle them, like I said, the tweeters, you take and you measure the distance between one tweeter on the left side and one tweeter on the right side. Okay. And then you measure the distance between the tweeter on the left side to right here and the tweeter on the right side to right here in your position. And all three should be equally spaced, equally spaced. So you may have them in a bigger room. You may have them seven feet wide, but you've got to be seven feet away. So obviously you've got to keep controlling that until you get that down. Now, some studio monitors have a narrow sweet spot and some have a wide sweet spot. The Atom A77X is back there, which I freaking love, and I will do a video about them here pretty soon. Uh, they have, in my opinion, a very narrow sweet spot, okay? They're not the kind of monitors where you're going to stand in the back of the room and it's going to sound killer the way it does when you're in that sweet spot. If you're in a sweet spot and you're moving your head left and right out of it, you should hear a tonal difference happening. The frequency spectrum should change for certain things. That's why you want to get that spot just right. So you've got to find the right height of your chair you're sitting in. You want to get the right height of the monitors and you want to place them equal distances apart, pointed directly at your face, okay? And so understand that again, like mine have a narrow sweet spot. Some others have a larger sweet spot. You know, I have found that narrow sweet spots are good for precision stuff. Wider sweet spots can be good for for just overall sound where feel and vibe like you're listening to a true stereo, okay? Or in, in that sense, all right? I don't think a lot of people actually even listen to music through speakers anymore. Everybody seems to be using earphones, ear pods, AirPods, uh, wh whatever in their car. Um, when I was growing up, I tried to get the biggest stereo speakers I could get, okay? Uh, but things have changed, okay? So the way people consume it is differently. So Hopefully that answers a few questions for you. If you didn't know that, well, now you know. And if you knew that, now you've been reaffirmed. And if you've got some other opinions out there you'd like to share, I got this thing called a comment section below. Would really appreciate it if you went down there and shared your opinion, okay? Let's just keep it positive. Uh, and let's share our opinions with each other. And let's try to keep a little community going here, okay? So uh, if you like the things I talk about on this channel, I ask you to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and then that notification bell. So every time I put out a video, you get notified, you get to know about it, you get to watch it because you like watching my videos because I'm an idiot. Uh, I'd like to think I give some good advice from time to time, but at times I can be an idiot. So anyway, until next day, until next day, until next time, I hope you have a great freaking day, everybody.